Hi. Today we present a case of fetal Noonan syndrome. The patient is a 40-year-old female, G3P1011, at 12 weeks gestation. Her past medical history is unremarkable, except for a prior first trimester pregnancy loss. The genetics of that pregnancy loss revealed a fetus with trisomy 21, or otherwise known as Down syndrome. The labs for this pregnancy are significant for negative cell-free fetal DNA testing. As part of her routine care, the patient was sent for a first trimester fetal anatomic ultrasound. These are the images obtained. In this first image, we see a sagittal view of the fetus. It shows thickening of the area behind the fetal neck with septations. In this video clip, we see bilateral symmetrical cystic structures located in the occipital cervical region of the fetal neck. These findings are diagnostic for a cystic hygroma. First trimester cystic hygroma consists of a large single or multilocular fluid-filled cavity in the nuchal region of the fetus. When seen, it's strongly associated with fetal aneuploidy and can be found in approximately 50% of cases. Management for this finding consists of formal genetic counseling with a genetic counselor and or geneticist, offering diagnostic fetal genetic testing with either CVS or amniocentesis, and also second trimester detailed fetal anatomic survey in addition to fetal echo. After the patient had genetic counseling, she elected for diagnostic fetal genetic testing with the CVS. When the patient returned to have the CVS procedure, uh, additional imaging was performed. It was noted that she had a posterior placenta and therefore uh, we elected for transcervical CVS. This is a video clip from the patient's CVS procedure. Uh, as you can see, there is a hyperechoic linear structure uh, that is inserted into the placenta to obtain the CVS sample. The CVS sample was sent to the lab for analysis. Results showed a normal karyotype and a normal chromosomal microarray. These findings were discussed with the patient. She was additionally counseled that fetal exome sequencing may have a significant additional pickup rate for pathologic abnormalities. After counseling, the patient elected to have this testing done on the sample. Results from the sample returned and showed a pathologic variant in the PTPN11 gene consistent with a diagnosis of Noonan syndrome. Noonan syndrome is a genetic disorder that is typically inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion. The disorder is characterized by a wide spectrum of symptoms and physical features that vary greatly from case to case. Associated abnormalities can include a distinctive facial appearance, such as low set, posteriorly rotated ears, widely spaced and down slanted palpebral fissures, epicanthal folds, and fullness or droopiness of the upper eyelids. Individuals with Noonan syndrome can also have short stature, congenital heart defects such as pulmonary valve stenosis or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, developmental delay or cognitive impairment of a variable degree, broad or webbed neck, an unusually shaped chest with an S-shaped sternum, widely spaced nipples, cryptorchidism in males, and lymphatic abnormalities of the lungs, intestines, and or lower extremities. These individuals can also have coagulation abnormalities too.